One of the more common views used in 2D drawings is the section view. Creating a section view in SolidWorks is straightforward. Once a view is in place, I use the section view icon here in the view layout toolbar, or use the section view command in the drop down menu under insert, drawing view, section. To create the section view, I simply need to draw a line indicating where I would like to section the drawing view. Now in this case, I would like to create a section view that cuts through the center of the circular part. However, notice as I move the cursor near the view, I'm not getting any feedback. At this point, if I draw the section line, there's no way to know if it's cutting through the center. There's actually one step I need to do before drawing the section. I need to wake up the drawing view's geometry to be used as a reference. In this case, if I hover my cursor for a second over the outer circle, notice the geometry is activated, and I see inference lines to the center of the circle. This process works for any other geometry as well in a drawing view. Simply hover over a line or point or any other geometry to wake it up and infer to it for aligning a section view. Now I just sketch a line through the view that I wish to section. Be sure the line extends completely through the part. As soon as the line is sketched, a preview of the section view will appear as you move the pointer. To complete the view, you simply click the left mouse button to drop it in place. Once the section view has been created, you can move it, but it will remain aligned to the view it was generated from, called its parent view. To find out how to break this alignment, see the section entitled View Alignment. There are several options in the Property Manager that will allow you to change the way the section view is displayed. These options become available upon selecting the view, so it becomes highlighted. You can flip the section view direction by clicking the Flip Direction checkbox. Change the label used for the view, the note font, and here you can select to display only the geometry that is cut thus eliminating any edges that are visible in the background. To change the location of the section view, I can activate the Section Depth option. This displays a line parallel to the section line that I drew earlier. This new line determines where the section view is taken. However, the original section line will remain unchanged. I can change the depth of the line by using the Spin Box, or by dragging the line in the Graphics window. Finally, if I had any edges in the view, I could use them as a reference for the section view depth. To see a preview of what the section view will look like, I simply click on the preview button. Since I want my section view to be through the center of the part, I'll deselect the section depth option and click the green check to finish the section view.